solve the problem of having an old Fiat 500e. Uh, 2015, 2016, the telematics in the car would actually work just for two years and you would be left without access to your vehicle uh, with your cell phone. So this company, thank God they invented something, a little device that lets you install the device in your car and it lets you control the vehicle remotely. So if you go to the web page, my500e.com, it'll say everything related to this. Uh, Final solution, which will bring you back your features of the Fiat 500. And there's a little demo in the front of how the app works. And the app, it's not really an app, it's just you create a shortcut, you go to the web page, uh, once you have the login information, you go to their web page and you go to their uh, app page and it takes you there and then you log in once and once you're logged in, then you create a shortcut to your telephone screen and that little shortcut on your phone becomes an app, basically, and it lets you control the vehicle. It lets you open and close the doors, uh, it lets you turn on the... Uh, Preconditioning system in the car, the uh, AC, the heat. Uh, it also lets you do uh, other things that are really, really awesome. In just a little bit, we're going to go outside and uh, I'm going to show you where the device is installed. And it's really simple, it's just plug and play basically. And I'll show you where the antenna is uh, glued. It's a little tiny antenna. It has its own adhesive. Very simple, very easy. And uh, we'll go outside and you'll, you'll see it. Uh, also, this, this is how it works on the phone. Uh, you tap the little icon of the shortcut that you created. And it opens up the web page, which looks like an app. And um, it'll give you the percentage of the battery that you have left. And also give you the, uh, the voltage on your 12 volt battery. And if you go to remote, it shows you how you can control your, your preconditioning, unlock and lock the doors, and uh, charge. You could set it to manually start charging if you, if you have it plugged in. And uh, you could see also the... Um, uh, what you call it? The um, the timers, and you could set it to turn on and off the preconditioning at any time. You could activate it, deactivate it with that little switch on the top. Set it for the days that you need, and you have three of those. And it's very very awesome. Very helpful in the winter and the summer. And uh, this is the uh, settings. So over here. It lets you adjust, uh, you know, if you want English, or I think it's German that they have. This is an earlier version of it, so the, the newer one might have more. Uh, then you have the units. You could change it, kilometers or miles. And uh, the, you can set the duration of the preconditioning. If you want it 20 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, 5 minutes. One of the best features that I like is that you could set a charge limiter and uh, you could put it to charge only to 80% instead of 100%. So that's excellent. Very, very cool. It'll save your battery for many years to come.
So let me show you guys where it's installed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all the way up here. And it's connected to the ODB connector. And we're going to test it out now. Alright, so I'm going to lock with the remote. So the car is now locked. And I'm going to show you how the app works. Alright, let's see. Okay, so the app is right here. The My500e app. So the connection is uh, LTE, but cell reception here is not that great. So every now and then you get a slow vehicle data connection. Slow. Please wait. All right. All right, so it says it has 78%. So you have, I'm going to show you the remote features first. Let's say you want to turn on your... AC or heat, you just press on and you look at it. So now it's turned on even though the display is not on. The system is on. And if you want to unlock your door, press unlock. If you have it plugged in, you could press charge now and it'll start charging. And it's a lot of cool stuff that you could do that you couldn't do before. And it tells you how long the uh, preconditioning system has been on. Uh, the settings here lets you control the uh, the how long the preconditioning system will be on for. 30 minutes. You could change it if you want. 10, 15, 20, 25, whatever you want. And also, uh, what percentage of a battery you want the system to turn off at, so you don't run out of juice as it's preheating the system or uh, or pre-cooling it. And also, you could do it with your range, uh, minimum 15 range. I have you could you could change it. You could put more or less, whatever you want. Pardon me. All right. Uh, device time sync now. Every now and then you'll need to sync it. Uh, usually if you do anything with your phone and it's or you, you're, it's the first time that you're gonna use the app that's when you have to sync it. Usually you don't have to do that, maybe once. Then the charge limiter, that's the best thing ever because the most important thing is if you're not gonna use a hundred percent of your battery of your lithium running battery you don't want to charge it to a hundred percent every single time because you'll limit the battery life. So with this cool feature, the Prime feature, which you pay a little more for, it lets you limit the charge to whatever percentage you want. And the ideal percentage to charge your battery is 80%. And the, that's exactly what I do. 80% every single time, unless I'm going further away. And I need those extra 15, 20 miles. Or whatever the hell it is. So charge notifications, I put all. And it's really cool because you get a, an email when your car starts charging or when it's finished charging. So you know exactly when your car finished charging. Remote API, that's for another feature, which I have no idea what it is. But I think since I'm one of the early users of this uh, device, I, it doesn't have, the device itself doesn't have the GPS feature, and that's what I think that is. Uh, 500E settings is very cool. You can turn on or off your hill assist uh, so your car doesn't roll back 
daytime running lights on or off I always have them on door lock settings uh, on auto lock on so when you press drive and you drive a little your doors will lock by themselves and remote unlock all doors or one or whatever you want so that's and over here you have remote Just press remote and you could turn on your AC or heat turn it off you could unlock and lock your car and if you have it plugged in you could charge it now and this feature is uh, uh, an additional feature that you pay a little bit extra more or or, own, or you might be just limited to a few things but you'll see it on the website once you once you go there to uh, my500e.com okay so I'm going to show you how you turn on the air conditioning system remotely from your house or from wherever you are it doesn't matter you won't see the display but you'll hear it turning on so now you could unlock your door also Now the AC system is on remotely, uh, but you'll see it once you open the door. Once you come into the car and open it, you'll see the display turning on. And it'll tell you what temperature it's on and the fan and everything. So that'll stay on until you start the car. And there, you can just start the car normally. There's nothing will happen to it. So when you come back to the car, you just turn the key and everything's back to normal again. There you go. And uh, you have the uh, battery minimum is 35% and uh, range minimum 35%. So anything below that, the uh, preconditioning will not turn on. You could also change the settings on this, obviously, shorter or longer. And uh, device time, that's the system time. Every now and then you do have to sync it. But it's not a common thing to do uh, charge limiter is a very good thing because uh, if you don't use your car the hundred percent of the battery charge every single time you use your vehicle why charge it to a hundred percent only to damage the battery so you'll limit it to eighty percent ninety percent seventy percent it's up to you I always charge it at eighty percent unless I'm going for far away so uh, charge notifications you'll get emails sent straight to your phone which is really cool it'll tell you when the charge stopped when it started uh, remote API is for the newer GPS device that they're offering now this one's one of the older ones but it's still very very cool uh, 500e settings this you could uh, you could turn on and off your hill assist daytime running lights uh, auto lock on meaning your doors will lock automatically once you drive the vehicle and remote unlock all doors that's the way I have it and that's about it very cool very cool thing I've been using it for almost a year now I never had any problems with the app every now and then the signal is too weak and I would have to keep on trying but that's because I live in in an area where the cell signal is horrendous so not the app not the uh, device's fault or or anything like that. My regular cell phone barely has a signal sometimes. So, as you can see now, two little dots. One more thing I wanted to show you guys. This is the best for the summer. I swear to God. When you are frying your ass and it's boiling hot in here, you got to get one of these. I got to show you. These seat cover thingies. It has a fan in the front. So it plugs into your 12 volt plug over here. And it's amazing. Amazing. That it'll it'll absorb the cold air from the air conditioner. And it'll refresh everything. Well worth the uh, 10 bucks.
or 20 bucks, I don't even know how much it is. 